What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. We've got some behind the scenes today slash vlog um, for one of my football videos. So you guys can see how the whole setup process is. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but in case you were interested to see how everything is setting up for me, I'm doing this video. And it's like a mini vlog as well, because you know we're posting on Wednesdays now. But we're at the field. We literally just got here. And by we, I mean me. I'm at the field. I literally just got here. Right over there. I literally have to walk way over there with all my equipment, all my bags, my bowls. Let's go out to the field. Bag is literally packed. See, this is all that I've got. I've got my soccer balls here, carrying them. Two tripods on my shoulder, while I also have my freaking book bag with all my soccer gear, my cleats, my sunscreen, ball pump, all that fun stuff. This park has a little cool feature to actually get into it, like the field and stuff. I mean, clearly, I can walk over there, but that grass is actually pretty tall. But there's like a little, little path here. Look. Ooh, fancy. What does this say? It's like you stand here and talk to the, to, to the wildlife. It's like standing here saying hello, wildlife. Today, what am I doing? I saw a ball over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's red. That was a soccer ball. And I know probably other football soccer players do this, but when you're at a, at a park, you best bet we've got our eyes open to find any soccer balls that anybody left behind because free soccer ball is a free soccer ball man and we got the rest of the path leading up to the field today's bts is gonna be for me trying to kick an olympic goal or make an olympic goal without the ball bouncing on the floor so like straight air once it leaves my foot last next thing is gonna touch is the net so we'll see, we'll see how it goes and see how long it takes me or if i can even get it at all but this is the field one of the fields i play at yeah i see this one often there's a goal here that's closer but i don't go to that goal because it's tilted it's like half broken and the goal that i really like it's the one you guys see me play at all the time. It's the one right there. It's a little windy, so I hope you guys can hear me. I don't have my mic on. Okay, so we made it. I always like to just drop everything right here in this general area. You guys probably see sometimes that I actually hit my bags whenever I'm recording. That's just because I leave them all there. So honestly, it's kind of inevitable. Let's do a quick what's in my soccer bag. So that's my soccer bag ugly as heck not gonna lie um i had this in there this is my gopro um bag holder i got two spare batteries one spare micro sd card and all the little attachments that it comes with this one's pretty cool because you can just that didn't work <laughs> it's supposed to be it's supposed to attach to metal but Apparently none of this goal is metal. This is my bag I use for my tripod. This is another bag with the tripod, obviously my soccer balls. And then in here, this front bag, I've got my mics that I use for my videos. Got my Hydro Flask to stay hydrated because I recently just had heat stroke and that was like a week ago basically. It was no fun. I could not move, my whole body was fatigued. I was having the worst time. So stay hydrated. And then on the main bag, well actually, this small bag right here is where I keep my ball pump and my sunscreen. And this main bag has my cleats. So I got the Adidas Predator Accuracy down there. You can see I got my Predator Edge and then we got a ton of cones in here as well. I use Vaseline to put on my left heel because my left heel is always bothering me when I'm wearing these cleats. And ever since I've started doing, putting Vaseline on my left heel, it's stopped, so I'm not gonna stop. I leave it in my car and it melts and stuff. Look at that. It's literally all just on one side now. There is a ton of 
dirt bottom of my cleats. That's because I was here yesterday. And it was muddy yesterday, guys. Now I am gonna get mic'd up and let's start setting everything up. Once again, the mics I use are Cinco. Cinco G2, I believe. I've got a receiver and a transmitter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. Make sure they're connected. Slap on the, the skunk. Slap it onto my shirt. If you haven't already, go down and check your subscribe button. If it's red, that means you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and just click on it. Join the family. I forgot this part that goes at the top of this GoPro. I don't know why I keep saying GoPro. Tripod. Let's see where I want to set this up. It's most likely going to have to be here somewhere in the tall grass. Just because obviously I'm going to be kicking from there. Anywhere in inside of there. So to get a good angle on it. Ooh, now that I look at this, this field is not straight. That goal is so off. Look at this line. Oh no, because this looks straight right here. test record to make sure the mic is working because there's been times where I had to scrap a video because the mic wasn't working or I didn't plug it in. Test, test, mic, mic. Test, test, mic, mic. Hey. I actually went ahead and set up the camera um where the actual corner is supposed to be because if you look like right here i guess it doesn't really matter but like you can't see the other post you're not supposed to see the other post and when you're standing here you can clearly see that other post so this line is not straight so i'm going to set it up here and then in the video i'm going to explain that because guys i'm going to get so much hate if i shoot from here where the lines are painted but look at the goal like you can see the other you can see the other post that's not like a true olympic goal you know what i mean but yeah let's go set up the other tripod Now, with my luck, I'm gonna kick it and then smack this phone. It always happens. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on this, change the battery on this GoPro, and then go to the other side, hit record, and then start the video. Let's do it. Record, got this side, and record. And we're rolling, let's do it. So we got this angle. This is the main angle here that records the actual curve and me talking to this camera. And then we got that camera down there that's recording the ball coming in from after my kick, just so you guys can see the curve. And if I get a nice smack on the net, it's even better. So let's hope for the best, but I'm gonna get this set up and then go ahead and start the video. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna try and hit an Olympic goal, again. But, one rule has changed. Before we do that, have you guys subscribed yet? If you haven't, or if you don't know, go down, check your subscribe button, and if it's red, that means you haven't subscribed yet. So all you gotta do is go click on the button, and that means you've joined the family. Okay. Yes, I'm not showing you that. You gotta go watch the video. I'll, I'll, I'll catch you guys at the end of the video. I'm gonna record, do everything, and I'll catch you guys on the end of the video. 
All right, what's up, BTS people? I just finished up the video. It's a good one, not gonna lie. It's it's an intense one, so stay tuned. I'll give you like a, a small sneak, sneak peek to see how far I actually made it. You ready? Ooh, that's all you're getting, and I'm gonna speed up that clip too. I'm gonna quickly do uh, Instagram reel to see how many Olympic goals I can make in a row. Just for the funs of it, just for the content. I like to structure my shoots in a way to where the first thing I do are the videos. So I either record one or two long form videos a session. After that session, depending on what time it is, depending on how long I actually spend at the field, I make sure to set time apart to do Instagram reels and Instagram shorts. Gotta set up vertical style. Once again, if you wanna see the content, go check out my Instagram. I'm not gonna film this part. Guys, it's starting to rain, I gotta go. Ain't no way I'm trying to get caught up in the rain right now. Now, time to get packed up and go home. This is my least favorite part, not gonna lie. Sometimes, you know, videos don't go as planned. This is just what it is, that's just life. But when they go, like super well, like I think how this video went. It's a good day. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I really hope you guys like the BTS. If you did, let me know. I'll do some more BTS. Um, but it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna go run to my car. And uh, once again, if you liked the video, go down and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel as well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. doing that for cinematography or for the edit. I wasn't actually gonna close my door like that.